So you might be wondering, what does the process of actually becoming a rideshare driver look like? Let's dig into it. The requirements, you must be 21 years of age or older. You must also own a, either an Android phone or an iPhone. You must pass a DMV check and you also need to pass both a county and a national background check. Your vehicle has to have at least four doors and you also have to have at least five seat belts, including the driver's seat. All of that is completed by simply taking a picture of your driver's license and your insurance and submitting that information to Lyft and then they run the background check after you give them consent to do so and run the DMV check. Then, assuming you pass all that, uh, what you do is you take your vehicle to any certified like uh, lift inspection facility, rideshare facility, uh, specifically uh, all the Bobby and Steve's locations in Minneapolis uh, will do this for you. And uh, you simply go there and they run a 19 point inspection on your vehicle. And uh, yeah, assuming you pass that, then you're good to go. You take a picture of that form and you also submit that to Lyft. If you're driving in Minneapolis, your vehicle must also be either a 2005 vehicle or newer. If your vehicle is a 2008 or newer, uh, your odometer reading is uncapped. It can be any amount and there's, uh, there's no limit to it. So that's the correct information for driving in the Twin Cities. Um, at the time of filming this video in uh, March of 2018. However, if you are driving in other regions such as Duluth, Mankato, or somewhere else in Minneapolis, the information is gonna be slightly different. That might sound like kind of a lot of information, but it's really pretty simple. All you do is you take a picture of your driver's license and your insurance card, and you submit them in the Lyft app. So you don't have a DWI or too many speeding tickets or something, and they actually accept you. I personally have a couple speeding tickets and they accepted me just fine, that wasn't a problem. Then you take your vehicle to a certified lift inspection facility, such as any Bobby and Steve's in Minneapolis, and pray that your car passes. All right, once you're approved and you're ready to go, um, at least when I signed up, what happens for your very first ride is when you first turn on the driver app, what will happen is you will be given a ghost ride. Is They had your first ride uh, that you accept is a fake ride. And so you literally just drive to a, a nearby location and pick up a fake passenger. Uh, someone, you know, the app will say, passenger got in your car and now bring them to their destination, right? And you drive them to that destination, you click end ride, and that just gets you familiar with how the actual pickup process and drop off process works. And then once that's completed, then you are ready to give your actual first ride uh, with a real life passenger and you do the same thing and you're good to go. If you liked that video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to see the rest of my free content on my YouTube channel. But I also wanted to let you guys know that I also have a Lyft driver course, okay? A course that breaks down the top uh, strategies that I have learned as a Lyft driver uh, that's given over 5,000 rides on the Lyft platform. The top strategies that I now utilize to increase my income as much as possible on the Lyft app, okay? And then also ways of decreasing my expenses as much as possible to ultimately be the most profitable driver that you can be. Okay, so if you're interested in content like that, I hi highly recommend you check out my course and I have a link to that course in the description box of this YouTube video, okay? It is premium content, it is a paid course, but I also have a bunch of free videos on that course page as well so you get an idea of what you will be learning in the course, but I highly recommend you check that out if you're a Lyft driver that wants to make as much money as possible. All right, with that being said, happy driving guys. Have a good one.